Hi and welcome to this SMC's how to video in which we'll demonstrate how easy it is to set up the ISE 20 series pressure switch. Here, we'll set an output to operate at a desired threshold value. Let's begin. Here, we see an ISE 20 powered, connected to a manually adjustable compressed air supply. To simply adjust the threshold value or switch point of output 1 and nothing else, just ensure P1 is displayed in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. If it isn't, toggle either the up or down buttons until it is. Press the set button and the current P1 value will flash. Adjust the setting to the new desired value using the up or down buttons. In this case 0.4 MPa. Press the set button once more to confirm the setting. When the supplied pressure to the ISE 20 increases to the P1 value, output 1 will activate. When it reduces from set value, and allowing for hysteresis, output 1 switches off. To adjust the switch value but also include changes to the switch hysteresis and an output delay time, first press and hold the set button for between 1 and 3 seconds until set is displayed. P1, the current set value for output 1 begins to flash. Using the up or down buttons, we adjust the set value to the new switch point. In this case, we're changing the set point of output 1 to 0.43 MPa. Press the set button to accept the new value. Now H1 is displayed representing the hysteresis value for output 1. The flashing setting is currently 0.05 MPa. This ISE20 has just been set for output 1 to come on when the pressure rises to 0.43 MPa. Here, we want output 1 to remain on until the pressure drops to 0.33 MPa so we're adjusting H1 for a hysteresis value of 0.1 MPa. Press the set button to accept the new value. If required, we can set an on and off delay time for the output. DT1 is displayed which represents output 1 delay in milliseconds. In this example we're changing the setting to 1000 to provide a 1 second on delay. So, once the pressure rises to 0.43 MPa, output 1 will only switch from off to on after 1 second. The same delay will activate when the pressure drops below the threshold hysteresis range. Once we're happy with all our setting values for the output, press and hold the set button for more than 2 seconds to return to the measurement mode. So now with the output settings we've configured, when the pressure is increased to 0.43 MPa or above, output 1 activates after 1 second. When the pressure drops below 0.33 MPa, after another second, output 1 goes off. So, you can see how easy it is to configure the switch output of the ISE 20 series. Take a look at our other SMC's how-to videos to see how easy it is to work with SMC's products.